Bam! Welcome to the vlog, Good Hooligans. Uh, today, we're going to actually check out a trailer for a new Hellraiser movie that's coming out. Um, fuck, what else? Oh, we're going to discuss something because, you know, somebody hit me up accusing me of something. And I just, I don't understand the accusation, to be honest. I'm not even mad, offended, nothing about it. I just, makes no sense. As always, other than that, I'm not too sure what's going to go on for today. Uh, didn't really have anything planned, you know what I mean? Well, either way, let's roll that intro. Alright, let's deal with these accusations. Okay, I'm not gonna say your name. You don't deserve that. You know I'm talking about you, and that's good enough for you, right? Um, don't ever jump in my inbox trying to like accuse me of being sexist, any of that shit. Part of the patriarchy? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Honestly, I, I don't. I really don't. The only time I see it nowadays is when these fucking super extreme feminists want to like blame shit going on in the world. Blame it on the patriarchy. Which, if I could guess, probably it has to do with guys. Here's the thing. If an actress does an amazing job in a movie or show, whatever, I talk about it. If you, any of you think that I, I fall in this category like, you you have not been paying attention to this channel. Did you miss it when I was singing the praises of Amanda Nunez? Saying how, you know, girls could look at Amanda Nunez as a role model? First openly gay UFC champion. Her and Nina Ansaroff's story is fucking beautiful. I sang her praises. I shared her story that the UFC itself didn't fucking share. I have sang the praises of a many women fighters. Oh, but because it's not Meryl Streep or Oprah, then you have something wrong with it? Headbutt yourself. Also, like, I didn't, I think, I don't watch Golden Globes or anything like that, honestly. Award shows, let's be honest. Pick the social issue for that year. That's what the theme of that award show is. That's, that's what they do. Listen, I got two daughters myself, and there has never been a day that I have said, you can't do this because you're a girl. You can't do that because you're a girl. I have always supported their dreams. I've always supported the ideas that they wanted to explore. My kids don't need to see Oprah telling us we're on a new day. Now, <clears throat> If I, if I have that line, I've seen that line like posted everywhere. If I have that out of context, I apologize. But I've, you folks know what I'm saying. If it takes a female celebrity for pe like to stand up and say something and everybody's like, oh, we do need to change. Maybe the fucking problem is you. You ever think about that? You got to think for your, you got to think for your fucking self. Okay. You, you can't, Oprah doesn't think for you like no that that's not how shit works also my daughters know that they can do whatever they want can fucking work towards whatever they want like i just yeah like i usually don't even fucking address this shit but when i when when somebody says that i'm sexist and you know i never give like i never show the same attention to like female things it's, especially if they fucking mention my kids. One, you don't even know my fucking kids' names. Two, you don't even know my kids or me. Uh, three, don't fucking mention anybody's kids. Because that's the thing. But this whole freedom of speech thing that I've, been ta that I've talked about. Yes, you have freedom of speech to say whatever you want. There's going to be consequences to follow that, though. And you need to be ready to fucking deal with those consequences. You, deal, you, you bring somebody's kid up. That's going to strike a, strike a reaction in them. 
Um, it just so happens that somebody felt like saying I was sexist and part of the patriarchy as well, which I fucking who like. What? Actually, again, Game of Thrones. Yeah, Jon Snow and all of them were cool. Did you miss it when I was singing the praises of how Arya is a little badass? Huh? All right. Fuck this. We off it. We off it. I didn't say in your name. You know who the fuck you are. Um, and you're real fucking silly. I'm gonna tell. You, I'm gonna just say that you you are super silly. Um, your accusations are absolutely like baseless. They have no foundation. Uh, if anything, you probably just got what you wanted. You got a reaction out of me, um, and I'm talking about it. But again, if you honestly think it's one of those things where I'm fucking, I'm sexist or anything like that, you have not been paying attention to this channel at all, and you you're out of your element. Headbutt yourself. People talking out their ass. That's the shit I don't like. That's the shit I don't like. That's the shit I don't. Silly peasants. I drink from the skull of my enemies. Oh, that was hot. About to step out for a smoke. Um, I googled what patriarchy meant. Apparently it means a system of society or government in which men have the power and women are excluded from it. Well, that's super silly to say I'm part of that. If... That's so silly. Ugh. You're adorable. You're adorable. I'm, I, I want to apologize, folks. You know, um, I don't usually talk about shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, but I just, I had to fucking, I had to address that shit. Um, I'm going to keep those clips in. You know what I mean? If, I don't know, if somebody finds a fence in them, then again, that might be more on their side. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just think it's super silly that nowadays, um, uh, you get mad about something, and it's instantly, you just fucking, you throw labels on somebody. Um, it's super immature to do as well. I don't know. Um, yeah, so apologies, good hooligans. Y'all don't deserve to have to deal with uh, people's silliness like that. So let's keep this vlog rolling in a, in a good way. Oh, maybe we'll do another musical number. I love singing the musicals. Oh, maybe a little Oliver Twist. Oh. Okay, good folks, I would like to have a little discussion. Um, let's talk about the value of things. Now, um, when you talk about like the value of things, how much, you know, something is worth, there's, there's really two ways to think about it. How much is it worth in a business sense and how much is it worth in a personal sense? Um, perfect example. This, good folks, is one of my most prized possessions. This is Motley Crue, Shout at the Devil, vinyl, original cover. Now, because it does have the, you know, dust cover and everything on it, you might not be able to see it as well, but for you hooligans, I will try and get the details on here. Okay, yeah, you can see it way better. So, it started out like this with the black pentagram. Now, when it was pulled off of shelves and everything, they had to re-release it on the cover with the four headshots from these pictures of the band. Um, for me, this is a very big this th this is a very big thing for me. Um, one, I'm I've always been a huge fan of Motley Crue ever since I was a kid. Um, when they released Red, White, and Crew and they did that tour, uh, I remember a newspaper. I don't remember if it was Toronto Sun or what. But they put out like a whole like basically timeline and like little mini biography of Motley Crue. I had that shit cut out of the newspaper and pinned on my wall. Um, so like I don't know, but like I've Nikki Six Heroin Diaries. I wish I had never lent that out because that uh, one like heroin the Heroin Diaries book is the most connectable book for me as far as like. When Nikki Six was really going through shit, like I was reading pages and I'm like, holy fuck, like this was me. You know what I mean? And it sucks because I lent it out when I was in college. Um, the kid said he brought it back to the class so like I could grab it, but it, you know, never showed up there. 
So yeah, super not happy about that, um, especially because it was a first edition and I'm kind of a little book nerd like that. I like having like first edition publishings. Um, either way, this Motley Crue album, I actually found for $5 in a vinyl store in uh, downtown Toronto. Um, God, I wish I could remember what it was called. I want to say, I want to say it was called like Circus Books and Vinyl or something, Circus Top, something like that. Um, it was a really cool little store. To have an original printing of Shout at the Devil for only five bucks, or I think it was like, it might have been like, it, it was either five or 15, somewhere in that range. Like it was enough where I saw it and I was like, how is this only for this fucking price? You know what I mean? So I, <clears throat> excuse me, I grab this vinyl, I bring it up to the uh, counter and I'm going off on the guy. Like, I'm like, man, this is so dope. Like this is before, like it had to be reprinted. This dude didn't give a shit. I, if I remember correctly, he was listening to like, kind of like smooth jazz when I was in the store. So like, uh, he didn't care at all about it. Um, but for me, like this shit, that, this is priceless to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like if somebody was like, oh, I'll buy that off you. Here's 20 bucks. I'd be like, man, get, you better get out of here. Like, not for sale, not for sale, you know what I mean? Um, so that's where we get into this discussion. Um, you know, it's not about like how much things are worth in a store or how much things are worth if you want to sell them. Because um, if that's the case, then like, I don't know, not to, not for this to sound the wrong way, um, but I'm right now I'm kind of, I'm, I'm sitting on a fucking gold mine, you know what I mean? Um, all, like the three jigsaw figures I have, I have the pig mask, I have uh, him unmasked with the black robe and with Billy the Puppet on the tricycle. Just the Billy the Puppet and jigsaw unmasked set, over a hundred dollars on Amazon.ca. Um, a bunch of figures and the, the spawn things that I have. For other people that would be like, to buy those it's super super expensive. For me, I would never want to get rid of them because they mean like I wouldn't want to sell them or whatever because they actually they mean a lot to me. So what I'm I guess kind of what I'm what I'm throwing out to the hooligans is like, you know, don't always worry about like uh, the mater the material value of something. Worry about the sentimental value to it all. You know what I mean? Because um, at the end of the day, I think that's what's more important. Um, it's not it's not one of those things where it's like, well, if I wanted to sell this, I could make like 200 bucks. Who the fuck cares? At the end of the day, you could make that 200 bucks and that 200 bucks gone. One purchase, one purchase gone. And then you're walking around looking at where your prized possession used to be. You know what I mean? So it's, you know, don't worry about how much things are worth. Don't worry about, you know, what like you could get if you want to sell it enjoy it for yourself because it has its own value to you and that that has a value to you for a certain reason you know what i mean so just saying folks just saying love to hear your your thoughts it so comment below or hit me up on twitter and instagram you know what it is g-u-b-y-t-h-a-k-i-d mm. i should have heated this up damn it no oh. I like this one because, you know, it doesn't have any of those side blades, so I don't have to worry about hitting my thumb. So that's, that's nice, you know? I don't have to worry about that. Hmm. Instant result. All right. All right, so for the folks that haven't seen it, we've got all of the stuff that used to be on the bedroom wall. Finally got all those, like arranged on this wall, the weapon wall. Finally got, where is it? Finally got Luke's Return of the Jedi lightsaber hilt there. That's actually one of those ones where it's an extended blade, but uh, I didn't know it was that when I ordered it off Amazon. So I just keep it as the hilt. I, I like that better. Now, I gotta add Darth Vader's. You know what I mean? It's actually, this lightsaber was another Disney store purchase. If you watched the live stream yesterday, I talked about how that Kylo Ren one was uh, actually a Disney store purchase, and it was uh, it was actually like a better 
than I was expecting. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I grabbed the Kylo Ren and the Darth Vader one. Uh, gotta get that on the wall now. But yeah, there's the weapon wall. It's coming along, coming along. Oh, there, there's my Christmas village. Actually, that leaf you see leaning on the wall, I gotta add that to the table so I can uh, make it bigger. But yeah, firehouse is on right now. I think that's just because it's plugged in. <clears throat> Firehouse is on right now. I think that's just because it's plugged into the power cord, though. That on the power bar. Either way, long explanation. Yeah, Christmas village. You gotta do stuff that you like, folks. Doesn't matter what it is. Well, as long as you're not hurting anybody, you know what I mean. But yeah, as long as you're not hurting anybody, you know what I mean. Just do what you like to do, folks. Do something that's gonna bring you happiness. Uh, whether it's painting, painting figures, collecting little things, just do something that's gonna make you happy. You know what I mean? Makes your world a brighter place. I don't know if I've ever shown that. I, I could have sworn that I have. My little lamp post here. Got that for like 20 bucks at Walmart. I don't know. I love it. Oh. Laptop's on. Look at those lens flares. Looks like I got little sparkly freckles. Alright. Smoking my morning herbal herbs and... Realize I didn't talk about this lecture that I had watched yet. So let's get into it very, very quick. Last night I was able to tune into a lecture called A Brief Biography of the Devil. Now, this lecture was absolutely fascinating. Like, I, I wrote down four pages of notes. I'm glad that I can go back and watch it because I'm definitely going to, to like try and catch uh, more. The um, thing is, it was, it was like what they talked about and kind of like certain things. I didn't even real like I didn't even put those two things together until like you know it was kind of like displayed for me. Um, it was it, it's crazy you know we talk they talked about um, like where the image like of the devil and everything came from, which actually was um, it, it was actually influenced by many other like uh, belief systems and cultures and everything, which is uh, fascinating in its own self. You know what I mean. Um, but either way, it's just, this lecture was really, really fascinating to listen to, especially when there's a lot of things, like, you feel like, you feel like you know a lot about something, but then it's like you open a doorway, and it's like, it, it's an entire library from floor to ceiling with new knowledge on that same subject. I don't know, it was really, really cool. Uh, if anybody else wants to go and check it out, Go to uh, centerplace.ca. Uh, all the lectures, I, I believe you can go back and watch them and everything. I know you can go back and watch this one. Um, there's two others that I had noticed at least. Um, but either way, centerplace.ca. And I also, legally I have to say, they did not pay me to say that. This is not a sponsor. This is just because I really enjoyed that lecture. I I enjoy like their format and everything, and I think it's a good resource to have. So, if anybody wants to go get your learn on, go check that out. Learn you something. We'll discuss. Yeah. All right, good hooligans. There is apparently a new Hellraiser movie coming out entitled Hellraiser Judgment. Um, I am a huge Clive Barker fan. Um, just f his artwork, uh, his books. It, when it comes to his movies, I always try and go for the director's cut because that like that's his vision um fuck it's just pinhead everything like i hold on i got pinhead funko right now <clears throat> and i also have pinhead and lamar sean's box tattooed on my arm it's got does it looks super weird on the camera though because you're not getting a lot of the details you're just getting like the shape of it <laughs> but yes got pin oh, let's try and get a better look at this but yeah, and then I got Pinhead and Lamar Sean's box on my arm there. So, very big, like, fan of Pinhead and Clive Barker's work. Uh, also, an audiobook that I got from the library a long time ago, uh, Mr. Be Gone is actually read and everything by uh, Douglas Bradley. I might be saying, I might have that backwards. Um, but either way, the guy who played Pinhead, uh, he narrates it and everything, and it was just, like, it was just awesome to hear him like narrating the story and all that um by the way let's let's get to the trailer from the depths of hell 
Lamarchon's box. Never a good thing to open. Okay, we're good. No bueno. No bueno. That was fucking... That was a dope trailer. I love that line. What on earth is this place? It isn't? That's... That's that's a great line. Um, the big ass dude with the baby face mask didn't like that. Uh, creepy. And then he has somebody fucking pop off like from his back there. It's just... Mm. I don't like that. Not in like, I don't like that, like, why would you do that? I don't like that as, like, it's fucking creepy. You know what I mean? Um, man. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to watch this movie. You know what I mean? Uh, it's coming Blu-ray, DVD, and digital, so chances are I'm gonna try and get my hands on the Blu-ray of it. God damn. I'm actually excited for this movie now. God damn, folks. It was just, like I said, the clips, it's just like I finished recording one and then there's a new one I want to record. Um, I've only been filming for like an hour and a half and I feel like I've already like recorded a full vlog. So uh, we're going we're, we're, we're gonna to cut it for now. Um, we discussed some things. There's some things I want you folks to think about. Uh, I checked out a new trailer. So yeah, how it's going to work on Friday because I'm going to hang out with uh, Dean and her roommate slash buddy jess they've been super awesome to have like a part of the hooligan squad and honestly just to, like to call them friends and everything like that they're just they're super awesome people very excited to go hang out with them uh go please go support dean wilde's youtube channel as well stay blessed productions so how it's going to work for friday is there's not going to be a vlog but I am going to have a video drop for you folks so there's still content to enjoy. Um, I might do another 360 video or something for you. Uh, just I want to make sure there's a video out on Friday. Um, but yes, no regular vlog this Friday, good folks. I appreciate y'all folks checking out the vlog. I really do. It means a lot to me. You don't have to take the time out of your day, but you do. And it's mucho, mucho appreciated. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment below. Might not reply to them all, but as long as it's positive, I read them all and I give you a little thumbs up so that you know I've read it. Roll the outro.